It is time for Chicago Robinson and the Memphis Tigers to play in the American Conference Championship. And they only had two losses on the season, one coming against Boise State, and the only other loss was against Tulane, who we are playing in this championship game. Despite those two losses, we actually had a better overall record, but we're both tied at 7-1 in conference play. And we had moved up into the number three spot in the top 25 rankings as well. With both of us being ranked, we were both projected to make the college football playoffs this season and for us that was due in part to Chicago's great season where he's thrown for 2,661 yards 26 touchdowns and only seven interceptions even though it kind of seems like he threw more than that to me none of that matters though as it is time for the American Conference Championship and as the second seed we are unfortunately on the road taking on the Green Wave in their home stadium Chicago Robinson and Memphis would start out with the ball third and four his first pass of the day he's gonna step up and take it himself for a first down down. A strong start to the running game would get them all the way down to the 33, third and 10 now, left side to Brady Cluse. Robinson's pass would be completed, but short of the first down, so Memphis would settle for a field goal on their first drive. And they would take a three to nothing lead over Tulane here as their defense would get a stop for their first time on the field today. A big completion there from Chicago, getting his team down to the 30 yard line of Tulane, flushed out of the pocket, rolling to his right on the run, that's completed inside the 10. First and goal to go for the Tigers from the four RPO to Brady Cluse in the end zone. It's a touchdown first of the day for the Tigers offense. But Tulane would answer back with a field goal of their own. Third and five now. Chicago Robinson picked off by Rayshon Pleasant of the Tulane defense. And with no one in front of him, he takes it back for a 28-yard pick six. And just like that, this game is tied up at 10 apiece as we're just over two and a half minutes from halftime. A slow day for both teams on offense but defenses have been firing on all cylinders as Chicago is getting his team down the field though and what looks to be a promising drive first and ten he's gonna step up and take it himself only picking up two yards on that play but avoiding a sack as he's gonna dump it off to Brady Cluse he gets inside the five yard line now from the three Robinson just gets it off in time that would bring up second and goal and they would hand it off to Macari Bodiford who would fight his way into the end zone and the Tigers would take the lead back seven to 10 as Chicago in the offense had a chance to get more points on the board before half and coach was wanting to be aggressive as despite that sack he was having Robinson drop back to throw again he just couldn't get anything off in time with that pressure though as they would just run out the clock here and we would head to the second half Chicago Robinson and his Tigers would lead 17 to 10 after their defense came up with a stop to start the second half they would have another chance to extend this lead over to Lane but if they wanted to do that Chicago in his offense would have to pick up this third down as he connects with his tight end. Pushed out of bounds at the 45 of Tulane, but it was enough for a first down as he was going right side. An extremely tough throw, but Chicago was on the dot with that one, but they needed another conversion here on third and eight. Robinson would pick it up. Sliding down at the 15-yard line, third and eight. Can he pick up another third down for his team? He gets it off in time, but that's going to be intercepted again by the Tulane defense. Chicago Robinson's second and interception of the day as the green wave get the stop and they would manage to tie it up at 17 apiece here as we got ready to head to the fourth quarter a crucial third and nine here for the memphis offense robinson back to throw can't even get the screen pass off in time but the defense coming in clutch they would get another stop against the green wave and now bodiford is going to put the football on the ground and the green wave defense recovers their third takeaway of this championship game but somehow yet again the memphis defense defense comes up clutch with another stop. It is still tied at 17. Second and eight under two minutes to go here in the game. Robinson goes down with a sack there bringing it back to a third and ten deep into Tulane territory and he's sacked again. The pressure from Tulane's defensive line has been intense and it has resulted in four sacks so far today against Robinson as he has less than a minute to go here. Pass interference. Defense. That 15-yard penalty hopefully giving some momentum to Memphis. Down by three, they need a touchdown to win or a field goal to go to into overtime. A deep shot left side. An ill-advised throw there from Chicago Robinson into double coverage as he's going to take a shot opposite side now. Well defended, knocked incomplete. Third and ten, he needs some yards here. As Brady Clues would be ruled out of bounds on that catch. Fourth and ten, 28 seconds left to go. This could be the game. They get the stop with a sack in the backfield. 
the fifth of the day for Tulane's defense. And as a result, the Green Wave are gonna upset Memphis here at home to win the American Conference Championship. And it was a rough day for Chicago Robinson, 11 for 21, 143 yards, only 52% completion percentage with two interceptions. It's hard to do anything though when you're starting left tackle and offensive captain is giving up three blindside sacks. But on the bright side, despite that loss, we still made the playoffs as the sixth seed. And we only dropped down two spots from number three to number five, but number 12 Auburn would end up getting one of the top four seeds. But that would still give us a favorable matchup at home as we were taking on Kansas State in the first round of the playoffs. So let's head on down to the field and see if Chicago Robinson and his Memphis team can get a round one victory here in the playoffs. The Tigers would get the ball to start today, facing a third and 12. Robinson's first pass attempt of the day would be completed. Picking up the first down for his team, now second and nine. Robinson from under center, that's completed for a first. And this drive stays alive for Memphis right around midfield. Robinson across the middle, and that's going to be intercepted by the Kansas State defense on the very first possession. But once again, this Memphis defense that has been playing so well in the latter half of this season and the first round of the playoffs forces them to only a field goal. That sack would back the Tigers up to a long third and 18. Robinson almost picked off again on this pass attempt. But once again, the defense would get a big time stop and Memphis in the red zone here for the first time. From the six yard line, Robinson in the shotgun, bad snap. He handles it fine though. He finds the end zone for a touchdown and Memphis finally gets on the board for the first time today. As we head to the two minute timeout, Memphis with a 7-3 lead over the Wildcats here. Looking to possibly extend that lead before they head into the locker room here as they are right around midfield. And Chicago Robinson with an amazing throw there into tight coverage. Getting his team down to the 25 yard line now on second and two. He's going to take off up the middle, sliding forward down inside the 15 yard line as he's now flush out of the pocket to his right he's looking he can't get this off in time that sack would go for a loss of four just over a minute to go in the half Robinson hit as he throws into the end zone and that's held on for a touchdown what a play by the Tigers offense. Steven Glynn, the tight end, coming up with that big time reception from Robinson. That would send the Tigers to halftime with a 14-3 lead over the Wildcats. Not off to a great start though to the second half as they're faced with a third and 15. Robinson going down. And Kansas State would respond with their first touchdown of the day, but were not able to make the extra point, so it was a five-point game. Facing another third down here, just shy of mid field third and 11 Robinson can't get out of the pocket that would be another sack for this Kansas State defense but Robinson in the offense with great field position looking for another chance to strike again as they are nearing the red zone flushed out of the pocket rolling to his left drop for a loss and that would bring us to the start of the fourth quarter third and nine needing a conversion here going right side that would be completed for a first down in more down to the 12 yard line Robinson from under center finds Brady Cluson, he fights his way into the end zone for the Tigers as they extend their lead over Kansas State. And with their defense coming up with another stop against the Wildcats offense, all they would need to do now is run out the clock. And although they would not be able to pick up a first down on this third and seven handoff, the Memphis defense would come up with another stop for them. And Chicago Robinson would kneel it out for his team as they walk away with a first round victory here over the Kansas State Wildcats at home. Robinson with some fantastic plays today from the pocket for his team. He looked calm, poised, and collected all game long today. And despite his line giving up quite a few sacks this game, he was still able to have a 76% completion percentage with three touchdowns on the day. And that performance would get his team to the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl where they would be taking on none other than Boise State. The team that Chicago Robinson made his first start against this year where they lost 21-14 on the road. Road. And Robinson is hoping to throw for more than just the one touchdown he 
he did in that matchup earlier this season. Here is a look at the updated playoff brackets as the teams are fighting for a spot in the semifinal round. So let's head on down to the field and see if Chicago Robinson and his Memphis team can get the revenge against the Boise State Broncos here in the Peach Bowl. Robinson in the offense would get a crack at it first today against the Broncos. His first pass of the day, a quick RPO screen going for a first down and early on, the Boise State pressure getting to Robinson as he would go down on that sack third and seven and the Broncos defense would get a stop as Memphis would manage to walk away with a field goal on their opening possession though. The defense looking just as good as last week as they would hold the Broncos to no points on their opening drive and this gave Memphis a chance to go up two possessions if Chicago Robinson could get his team down the field on their second possession tonight. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter it would be a play action Robinson rolling out to his right plenty of green in front of him he would take advantage of it. Third and two now needing this conversion as it would be a handoff up the left side but the Broncos defense was all over that and once again Memphis would be held to only a field goal but thankfully defense coming up clutch again as Chicago Robinson putting the football on the ground but his teammate would be there to recover it. It has been a rough drive so far a fumble and a sack second and 18 now that's going to be completed bringing up a much more manageable third and four here at the two minute timeout Robinson scanning hit before he can throw and that's going to be another sack for the Boise State defense as they would take the lead seven to six over Memphis here as they haven't been able to get much going now in the second half so far a pickup of eight there on the wide receiver screen this will be the last play of the third quarter Brady Clues getting them down to the 45 yard line now inside Boise State territory down by one Robinson into double coverage he's going to be picked off by the Broncos defense and they would take full advantage of that turnover and tack on another touchdown as it is an eight point game now Memphis desperately needs a touchdown in a two point conversion just to tie it up here with under a minute and a half to go here in the fourth quarter this drive is most likely going to be their last attempt to make it to the semifinal round and it's off to a good start with a 21 yard pickup there another first down Robinson going down Boise State bringing the pressure on him second and 19 the pressure coming again Robinson just barely getting that off in time now a third and 19 he's going left side into double coverage a risky throw out of the reach of his receiver this would be for the game fourth and 19 going right side that's completed down the right sideline into Boise State territory second and 10 Robinson hit as he throws they have been doing a great job of keeping the pressure on him all night long third and 10 32 seconds left to go Robinson back to throw across the middle that's gonna be completed but the football is on the ground Boise State recovers they're taking it down the right sideline no one in front of him this could be a scoop and score yes it will Boise State with under 20 seconds to go tax on a defensive touchdown and that play right there is gonna seal the game as they are up by 15 Robinson completes this pass but it does not matter. Boise State makes it 2-0 against Memphis on the year as they win the Peach Bowl and are headed to the college football playoff semifinals. And that defensive line of the Broncos made it a tough day for Robinson. Only 58% completion percentage, no touchdowns, and an interception. And that would officially bring his junior season to an end with his official stat line being 3,146 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions on a 69% completion percentage. Chicago Robinson had 10 skill points headed into the offseason and would upgrade his power attributes. But all of a sudden, Chicago was thinking about entering the transfer portal. And while he had spent three years at Memphis, he wanted to go to a bigger program closer to home. So Chicago Robinson transferred to the University of Wisconsin for his final season of eligibility. And even better news, he had already graduated so he could focus all his free time on prepping for the NFL this upcoming season. And that is is where we will pick things up next episode as we start Chicago's senior season at the University of Wisconsin.